I'm Derek Wall, I'm standing for International Coordinator of the Green Party of England and Wales. Um, I'm doing one of these videos you've seen where I appeal for you to vote for me. Um, to me, green politics is the politics of survival if we look at climate change and other threats to the, the biosphere. We're putting human existence in danger. So to me, green politics is about winning elections. Some of a local councillor here in Berkshire but it's about getting profound social change. It's about linking the big picture to the practicalities. As international coordinator, I want to strengthen our links with the European Green Party and also radicalise the European Green Party, which is something which I think is very, very important. I also think we need to th think globally. So I've worked with activists in India, trying to set up a Green Party, I've worked with activists who just this week have established a new Green Party in Japan. Um, my kind of background, I've been a writer on green politics for many years, I've been a party member for 30 years, and I teach economics. Um, you may have seen some of my books on green politics. Now, I don't want to use this video as a kind of marketing tool for my books, but I point out that I've written The No-Nonsense Guide to Green Politics as an introduction to green ideas, and I've allowed that to be used for free by, say, the Japanese Green Party activists. I'm also very, very concerned with indigeneity, that what we see with climate change is the, the big way of fighting this has been the actions of indigenous people. So if we look at the Amazon and the other world's forests, they're essential to preserve as a carbon sink to fight climate change. And on the ground, you have indigenous people who are working to do this. And I've been particularly inspired by ADASAP, who are the coalition of different Peruvian indigenous people in the rainforests and they've been able to take action, use non-violent direct action and stop the forest being taken away. And I think one of the essential things we could do in the Green Party of England and Wales is to give them some solidarity and some support and acknowledgement and I think they would find that very, very useful to their fight. Also we can look at indigenous people in Canada and the way they've been fighting the exploitation of tar sands. So what I think I can give to the post is 30 years of experience, a practical approach, links with European Green Parties and Global Green Parties, and support from Indigenous people. As somebody who teaches economics, I'm aware that we have a capitalist system which is based on producing more, working more, consuming more, throwing more away, and that to me green politics has got to be about challenging that and changing that. So a lot of my work is also shaped by um, the works of Ellen Rostrom, who's talked about how we have a greener, more collective economy. So the other candidates are good as well, but do consider voting for me. Thank you.